Bertrand de Grimaldi of Monaco. The marriage of America's number one box office star and Europe's most eligible bachelor was a fairy tale of uh, castles and happy endings. I know that tourists and reporters came from all over the world. They flew in, they sailed in, and they did everything but swim to Monaco. The tiny principality was almost bulging at its beautiful themes. And foreign correspondents who uh, had been reporting on most of Europe's political climate before found themselves describing the, well, the trousseau of Grace Kelly and some of the antics of uh, her wonderful French poodle named Oliver. And by the time the wedding day was over, we were all so tired out and we were so glad that the festivities had finally come to an end. But with all the publicity, there was still something very touching and wonderful and real about this wedding. The bride, probably it was because she was so beautiful and obviously so much in love. Perhaps it was because the ceremony itself, with all of its grandeur, was a sacred and religious affair. And perhaps because the groom was a prince and this marriage to him meant not only love and an enchanting wife, but an heir to the throne. So we watched the wedding on our television screens and in newsreel theaters. We saw Grace Kelly become Her Serene Highness Princess Grace of Monaco. And we wondered how the actress would adjust to her new life in what was still to her a foreign country. This was a role uh, she had not had too much time to study. She had no cues to follow and the rest would be improvisation. We saw the bride and groom leave the church and drive through the town and symbolically off and into the future. And we hoped that they would indeed live happily ever after. And then on March 14, 1958, Monaco once more went wild with excitement. From the royal palace came word that a second child, a son and an heir, was born. The proud family stood on the palace balcony and introduced Prince Albert to his people. But much like another little girl named Caroline, his elder sister stole the show. And what of Princess Grace today? Is she happy? Well, Grace is a very good friend of mine. I visited with her last summer at the farm up in the hills of Monaco, about 20 minutes outside of uh, Monte Carlo. And someone put it very well. They said, she is so happy that you could almost put it to music. You see, in five years, she's gained a husband, two beautiful children, and a country which adores her. And since her wedding, she's also gained about 10 pounds, which of course is very attractive on it. And she's added an artichoke hair comb. Today, she's the chairman of Monaco's Red Cross, the chairman of the UN Emergency Relief Fund, and the chairman of the board that supervises two local orphanages and an old people's home. And she said to me once, as soon as Albert is old enough to be a Cub Scout, I'll probably be a den mother too. And I'll bet she will. And she'll be the prettiest den mother in the whole world. Dave? I think that's probably right. <laughs> There's never a girl who can gain a husband, two beautiful children, and a country in five years. You know, the kids can't uh, just be, uh, you know, they're rollicking on the beach with their friends like any teenager would do. When it comes out in a magazine, they make it look as though there's something wrong with that. You have lived what many people would consider 
a fairy tale life. Uh, the little girl who grew up to be a movie star and then a princess. Has it been a fairy tale living it? I've been very lucky in my life, but I certainly uh, wouldn't think, uh, you know, I don't wake up in the morning thinking I'm living a fairy tale. I have uh, the job to get done and children to, to raise and uh, a lot of responsibilities and obligations that uh, perhaps are, uh, are more trying than, than a lot of people have. What would you like people most to know about Princess Grace? I'd like to think that uh, they would consider me uh, a professional at my job, no matter what it would be. Uh, if I take on something, I like to do it well, and I like to do it completely. And I think that's probably what I'd like people to think. You're connected.